So, uh, so you're all here for ICTS 10, and I'm really glad to see you all here from various corners uh, of the earth, from Bangalore, braving all the traffic and everything uh, coming here. So it's great you could come for our birthday party. Uh, and, uh, uh, but I, as scientists, uh, our idea of a party is to binge on ideas. And that's what the next three days really promise to be. Uh, I think it's, a, uh, it's a quite a feast uh, laid out of some of the most uh, meaty scientific questions uh, of our times. And uh, I hope the vegetarians are, don't take offense with that. Uh, uh, but uh, there will certainly be a lot to chew on. Uh, Coincidentally, I, I, this is just a, a personal remark which I just wanted to develop. My son was also born in 2007, like ICTS, and uh, this is why I think I'm well qualified to uh, organize birthday parties. Uh, the, uh, but what uh, struck me was the first decade of any institution, uh, just like that of a child, is a very unique period. Uh, it's a time of free-ranging exploration and play, uh, the child thinks, let's try to roll down the stairs, it should be fun. Uh, uh, and, uh, uh, but it's also a time of discovery and learning, so the child says, ouch, that hurt when you actually try to roll down the stairs. Uh, so it's a time of plasticity uh, when you can shape yourself in a unique way. It's also a time of promise uh, when the grown-ups around you say, okay, maybe this little one will do something amazing someday. Uh, so it's a magical period, and I, ICTS, I think we are still basking in that sort of lushness of that feeling. But the challenge, uh, and as for any child who steps into adolescence and youth, is to retain enough of uh, 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 what, is, uh, what Hermann Hesse, the novelist, called the magic that dwells in all beginnings. Uh, as we all know, habits tend to solidify over time, preconceptions start shrouding the mind, the world impinges more and more on you and nudges you towards some kind of uh, gritty realism, uh, and you're left more and more on your own to chart your own path uh, amidst all the perils and pangs and so on, and self-doubt starts creeping in. Can one deliver on all that initial promise? So this is how uh, things develop. We all have been through these stages. Uh, but I say that, yes, we can, we shall overcome. And as we say in India, hum honge kamyab. Uh, I say this because I feel a very strong current of goodwill and support for ICTS uh, and its three-pronged mission of research, programs, and outreach. The fact that so many of you are here is a reflection of that. And in the Indian scientific community, uh, ICTS is increasingly seen as a national resource of collective value. It's of, by, and for the scientists. Uh, and around the world, I've felt this desire, a strong desire, uh, for, to see ICTS succeed. And that's very heartening. And this feeling is nowhere stronger or more manifest than in the commitment and involvement of our international advisory board, uh, and uh, uh, who are many of whom are here for the occasion, for most of whom are actually here for the occasion, a majority are here for the occasion, and I really thank them for that. And particularly, uh, the, the board chaired by David, who has been my guru in many, many ways. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, so it's really, uh, uh, that support is, I think, what keeps one going. And then there is Spenta, the sort of the proud father, so to say, the nurturing father, and uh, uh, who is always there to see us through the thickets uh, as we grow. Uh, there's Avinash, the, in a way, the rock-solid uncle, I would say, uh, who, is, uh, who, can, who continues to lend his sort of very steady hand at, in the steering. So in fact, the whole ICTS family is very much like that. It's a family. Uh, we are all pulling together for a cause, as you will no doubt see in the next few days, both in the administration, the academics, and everything, and uh, as well as supporting each other. So that's, I think, uh, something that's very heartening. ICTS is part of the extended TIFR family, which in turn is part of the DAE, or the Department of Atomic Energy Establishment. And I'm happy to read out a message from Professor Sandeep Trivedi, the director of TIFR, 
who is unfortunately in the antipodes at this time, enjoying summer uh, somewhere in Argentina, uh, uh, but and could not be here in person. But he has sent a very warm message uh, uh, and uh, really uh, was apologetic about not being here. So I read his message. Dear friends, I send you my best wishes on the occasion of the ICTS at 10 celebrations. My office in Mumbai was across the corridor from Spenta and Avinash's, and this gave me the opportunity to witness at close quarters the birth of the ICTS. Today, 10 years later, you have all gathered in this marvelous new campus to celebrate the completion of 10 years of its existence. We in the TIFR family are especially proud of how far ICTS has come in these intervening years. It is a thriving organization today, humming with exciting new programs and high quality research. I take this opportunity to specially to, uh, I take this opportunity to thank so many people who have worked so tirelessly to make this possible, especially Professor David Gross, who from the beginning has been a pillar of strength, Dr. Karkokar, Dr. Banerjee, Dr. Sinha, and Dr. Basu, under whose successive tenure as chairman of the Atomic Energy Commission, this campus was completed and the center has taken shape, and Mr. Ratan Tata, Professor Siena Rao, Dr. Kasturi Rangan, and other distinguished members of the TIFR Council who have given such steadfast support to the ICTS all throughout. But most of all, the real heroes, Spenta, Avinash, and Rajesh, uh, who have steadfastly steered the ship through so many troubled waters, they deserve a special round of applause. I have high hopes from the ICTS. As India comes of age again, it must assume its traditional role of being at the cross currents of intellectual thought. I have full faith that the ICTS, with assistance from our friends across the world, will help bring this about. Dr. Shekhar Basu, the chairman of the Atomic Energy Commission and the secretary of the uh, um, Department of Atomic Energy, which is, as uh, Sandeep said, the, our apex organization has also sent his message, which I'll read out. I'm very glad to say a few words in absentia for the ICTS at 10 event of the International Center for Theoretical Sciences. ICTS of the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, uh, which is an autonomous institution under the aegis of the Department of Atomic Energy of the Government of India. The ICTS is a unique institution in the Indian scientific ecosystem in combining programs which train young researchers and catalyze new research directions, together with in-house research in a number of areas in physics, mathematics, and related disciplines. This functions as a national facility for the entire Indian scientific community and enables it to effectively interface with their international counterparts. I'm happy to see that in its 10 years of existence, ICTS has served as a platform for several new initiatives in the country through programs such as on Big Data 2011, Mathematics of Tropical Meteorology 2013, and recently Laser Plasma Acceleration 2017. I'm also glad that the ICTS campus has come up very well in the last couple of years and has hosted more than 50 meetings with over 3,000 participants. ICTS researchers have do also done DAE and Indian science proud in the significant role they played in deciphering the LIGO measurements. I'm sure ICTS will also play a major role in training the future manpower for the new field of gravitational wave astronomy, which the LIGO India project of DAE and DST will open up. New directions like the Indian Monsoon Initiative of ICTS also have the potential to help understand the scientific phenomenon of crucial importance to the country. I would like to conclude by saying that the DAE is fully behind this new initiative of Indian science and will support it so that it fulfills its mission to enhance science and scientific training in India. My very best wishes for the next 10 years of ICTS. So with this uh, kind of support, I think I feel very fortunate that we have these circumstances uh, and, uh, and hence my confidence, as I said, hum honge kamya. So, let me uh, just uh, begin the scientific sessions by first introducing Professor Spenta Vadia, the founder director of ICTS, to come and say a few words and to chair the session, the inaugural talk of Professor David Gross. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rajesh. If I am father, your son is running. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning and welcome. Wonderful day today in Bangalore. And uh, uh, 
So to, to the wonderful talk by Rajesh, I really, I really feel good about it, actually. We'll go forward. Uh, so uh, approximately, so I, I just wanted to recall what the child did at the age of two. Uh, approximately eight years ago, uh, on 29th of December, the foundation stone of the ICTS campus was laid by Professor C.N.R. Rao in the presence of uh, David Gross and Michael Atia. To mark this event, we organized a five-day meeting called Science Without Boundaries. The program of that event consisted of keynote lectures in traditional areas of the basic sciences, as well as interdisciplinary areas, and including two panel discussions to guide us about the importance and viability of what is called interdisciplinary research. There were also several public lectures by eminent scientists, David Gross, Savi Vigderson, and Albert Lipschaber as part of the ICTS outreach effort. This meeting was organized to put forward our intentions about our mission, our intentions, you know, I mean, how, what we plan to do. And I'm very delighted to say, actually, uh, that this meeting that begins today will confirm, because I know what's going to happen in this meeting, that we have gone some way in fulfilling our mission our mission, our ship sails on. The captains have changed, but the ship goes on to its destination. And with these few words, I'd like to welcome David Gross uh, to deliver his inaugural lecture. Uh, well, needless to say, the speaker needs no introduction. And besides his immense contributions to physics, he has made an enormous contribution to the ICTS from its very inception which I will be very happy to detail uh, tomorrow during the after dinner speech. So with those few words, I welcome you again and welcome David to deliver his talk. David, 